At first glance, giving albumin and Lasix together feels counterintuitive. One pulls fluid into the bloodstream and the other pushes fluid out. So why would we do both? I wanna break this down for you guys. And it comes down to where the fluid is. Albumin is a protein that stays inside the blood vessels and creates oncotic pressure. So when albumin levels are low, fluid then leaks out of the blood vessel and sits in the tissues causing edema. In this situation, Lasix alone doesn't work very well because there isn't enough fluid in the bloodstream for the kidneys to then remove. When you give albumin, it pulls fluid from that interstitial space back into the intravascular space. This temporarily expands circulating volume and improves renal perfusion, making that fluid accessible to the kidneys. And then comes the Lasix. Once the fluid is back in the bloodstream, Lasix can actually do its job by promoting diuresis and removing that excess volume through the kidneys. Without albumin first, Lasix may be ineffective or even worsen the intravascular depletion. So the goal isn't to add fluid and then remove it randomly, it's to mobilize the trapped fluid and then eliminate it safely. You'll commonly see this combination in patients with low albumin levels like liver disease, nephrotic syndrome, or severe edema that isn't responding to diuretics alone. And again, the key takeaway is this. Albumin shifts fluid into the vessels and Lasix helps the body get rid of it. Together, they correct fluid distribution. If you want a simple nurse-friendly fluid balance and diuretics cheat sheet, just comment fluids down below and I will send that right to your DMs.